So there are various bits of customization, not in Halo Infinite's gameplay at least, at least available in the game, and showcased in this funny kind of Twitter video replying to Unishag, Josie, and then Sketch going like, hey, where uh, where is this Reach armor set right here? Because it's something that people definitely want. And well, our good boy Unishag did reply to this, which I think also replies to like the future when it comes to a lot of this missing customization, like the CQB helmet that we've been looking forward to quite some time. Dang, this made me chuckle. We've seen the talk around the Reach pieces. They'll make an appearance in the future. With players in mind, we changed the initial release plan and it was the right call. Players and the pieces will have a better moment when they do arrive as a result. What that means, I mean, I'm not totally sure. I do trust Unicheck as he is a homie, right? Like he's plucked straight from the Halo community and put at 343 as a well, community manager, which is a great position for him. I think what this means is that like maybe last minute they were pulled from the season one Heroes of Reach battle pass and probably gonna be reallocated to the season three battle pass, which does sound kind of crappy, right? Like you're giving us less content to customize our character with, for season one to later save it for uh, season three, I guess, or something, some kind of event or something like that. But the thing is that like, I kind of agree with this as well, because I think if you just dump all the reach customization all at once, then what else is there left to do for the reach core, right? And also then it doesn't really give the time to shine for the, all the other bits of customization, right? Because that's kind of like how this whole thing is going to work, right? Just moving on in the future of Halo customization. People are going to want to wear the new stuff that's a little flashy and can be a little more unique looking, but probably most likely favoring the new stuff, right? So this seems like a bit of a strategic move by 343 to save some of the reach customization, probably some of the stuff that we saw within the multiplayer trailer for a later date, or maybe an event tied in it to the customization as well. I think probably what they're doing is probably something for a much more interesting way to provide the customization rather than just put it in the battle pass. I think it might tie it into some narrative events or something like that. Uh, there's a lot of ways they could go about doing this. Uh, as soon as we get some you know, concrete information about this, I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. Talking about some more customization, here's some leaked content guy that was recently been going around the internet and uh, it looks pretty sweet. This might be tied to some kind of like short term event or something like that. You see this kind of, bit of like an armor effect that has like a cool like kind of like chalky explosion kind of look. Honestly, it's kind of sick. I like it a lot. Here's another armor piece right here, which is a full piece right here. You can see like definitely pretty interesting looking, especially for the Rock Shots and Armor Set, which I always feel like the special cores definitely could use a little bit more love when it comes to customization within Halo. Uh, here we have the bunny ears effect, which I think we've shown previously on the channel as well. This is probably gonna be something maybe tied to another event. Again, you can see this coating, very unique as well. I think it's probably, be t I thought initially it was gonna be tied to Easter or something like that, but uh, well, it wasn't, but whatever, you know, uh, at least we'll get it kind of stuff. This bit of customization sparks my interest though, because this is like a gold plated kind of look on your sparring. It looks amazing. A new pose, which is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. And also some new kind of uh, shoulder pieces right here, which I think we would have been tied into like, you know, April kind of springtime kind of stuff. But eh, you know, I guess not. But also this one here, there's the Eckhart's Ladder, essentially uh, emblem right here for your weapon, for the weapon charmer here. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to share this with him and be like, dude, you, you got your emblem in the name, in the game, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> Obviously, vicariously, but it's still hilarious. We also have a playoff of this Spider-Man thing with like this weapon charm called the Halo Man. So maybe there might be some kind of like event tied into maybe some kind of like superhero kind of thing. Maybe the second half, the narrative event that's coming in July. We'll just have to wait and see. Here's a pretty cool looking coating for your wasp and your scorpion as well. But again, like it just doesn't really get my interest up too much because they're really just kind of like colors. Like that's really about it. Like nothing too crazy. Again, like right here, like this look looks awesome don't get me wrong this looks like straight something straight out of like star wars now with this like red and black kind of aesthetic to it but it's just kind of like colors you know it's like nothing to me like that interesting that would make me want to like spend money to get this i'll spend time to earn it in game if it's for free or something uh, this is actually kind of sweet with like a come more, more uh, metallic kind of effect to the assault rifle that does actually look kind of nice uh, but again like it's more just like subtle kind of things nothing really like too crazy that would make you go like oh my god I absolutely need to pick this stuff. I like this one right here. Like this is just different shades of blue. Like I don't really find it that interesting when it comes to customization. 
Um, though I would like to see like, you know, stuff like this is kind of cool, but like a little bit of a shoulder piece, like knife kind of thing. Another one right there for the Rakshasa, uh, different kind of visor right here. You can see it's kind of like a lime green kind of stuff right here. Uh, and then are kind of just colors, emblems, emblems and colors. Oh, there's a cool like chess piece here though. I think it's kind of very ODST influence, which is kind of sweet right there. Uh, different kind of gloves, but that's really about it. Nothing too crazy, honestly. Like, I think it would have been a lot cooler if they can find some ways to kind of do some more interesting things. Uh, but that gold coating, though, it's in game right now. You can look at it and it does look quite awesome. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like one of those new things where like it's actual good customization and everyone's gonna buy into it and use it kind of like the cat ears kind of situation. There's some more leaked customization of the diamond coating for your Spartan. Now, this looks Awesome. We did hear this teased previously by Tashi saying that there will be some more diamond coated things coming into the game. Because right now, this weekend, if you watch any of the HS Valencia stuff happening right now on Twitch for at least an hour or two, you'll be earning some Twitch drops. If you have that activated on your channel, you get linked up and stuff like that. So definitely want to jump in and watch some of the HGS tournament guys to get a chance to earn some coding. Now, this is one, it's not you, this is something you can't earn right here. This is a leaked information. Currently, you can earn the diamond encrusted. Pistol, which does look awesome. I've seen some great pictures on Twitter. As you can see right here, looking pretty awesome. I'm definitely gonna wanna rock this when I get the chance. But you can actually see like this person also has the uh, leaked uh, diamond coating for the Spartan as well, which looks pretty sweet. Oh, this is actually just the HCS account. So a little sneak preview of the coating, actual coating itself, which is pretty awesome as well. Uh, so that's what it looks like. And I'm definitely gonna be spending my, I'm literally spending my time right now as so I'm making this video on the HCS stream to unlock this because I want it that badly. Now, this doesn't really pertain to anybody directly, but I think it really showcases some of the upper management issues at Microsoft more than 343 here. If you guys don't know who Halo.API is, we've featured them multiple times on the channel here as a source of information. And well, it looks like they're shutting production down. They even uploaded a blog kind of detailing the reasons why behind the whole thing, but essentially, it's expensive and it takes a lot of time and they really tried to like work with 343 work with microsoft to try to get something really awesome out here because if you guys don't know what halo.api has created they've done a lot of great things like halo data hive halo metals halo tr tracker as well which is huge right there uh, also like some of the overlays which you might have seen some recently on some twitch streams and stuff like that uh Spartan record as well which if you guys don't know what Spartan record is it's basically a place where you can just type in your gamer tag and you can actually get a working service record on your character kind of crazy like wow how revolutionary would we've had in halo previously you can see all your stats that you would want to find in well a service record that's currently not in the game but they stated here specifically which i think really showcases the dynamic between microsoft and 343 and how it's really just kind of one continuous entity that's just like it's a limb rather to the body kind of thing you know what i mean uh, saying that we want to be clear that we have spent months trying to figure out a solution with the community team at 343 Industries and they did their best to try to support us. They are unable to move forward due to policy and compliance issues at Microsoft around how Halo player data is used. I mean, Implits even reached out saying like, what can we do to help out? And right now you just said, right now, spread the word and try to highlight the situation to Phil Spencer and such, so like the higher ups at Xbox to kind of get the board on this is 343 tried to help, but it's more a current policy issue with Microsoft, which seems to be kind of the case with a lot of things that they want to do over at 343. That seems like Microsoft has their vision and things what they want to do with, well, player data and information and things like that. And also just beyond that was just pretty much just Halo in general. So when people blame 343 for a lot of the issues, which yes, they certainly manage Halo and they've had some issues when it comes to developing Halo Infinite, but just keep in mind that it's not all on 343's shoulders why some things are there or, or not in the game. Like I stated in a previous video, 343 is not like it's separate entity. It's not like how Bungie was previously with Halo, where they were like their separate entity working on the game and, and Microsoft basically funded them. Where this is more like Microsoft's extended uh, branch of gaming and it just happens to be the team that works on Halo is called 343 Industries. So think of it like 343 is the crew on the ship, but then Phil Spencer and Matt Booty are definitely the captain steering that thing. This is a developing story. As soon as we get some more information, I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. But if you're new to the channel, or missing any content from my recent, check out this playlist right here. I'm gonna link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you all in the next one. Peace out.